Hello everyone, in this lesson I will show you the operations of signal in octave. Our given is x of n equal to negative 5, 6, 3, negative 2, 3, and negative 4. And our n is equal to 0 is 3. And let's find the shifting operation x of n plus 3 and x of n minus 1, the flipping operation x of negative n and the scaling operation x of 2n and x of n over 2. Let's open the octave GUI and then input the value of x equal to open and close bracket negative 5 6 3 negative 2 3 and negative 4 enter and our n is equal to 0 is 3 so the range would be n is equal to from negative 2 to positive 3 our operation is x of n plus 3 but in octave it is opposite it should be n minus 3 so n is equal to n minus 3 that is shifting n plus 3 enter and we will plot the signal using the stem operation stem n comma x enter so this is now the plotted signal based on the shifting operation if we are going to manually answer this would be negative 5 6 3 negative 2 3 and negative 4 so the n is equal to 0 uh, here is it is uh, shifted plus 3 so it should be negative 4 Based on this figure, it is correct because n is equal to 0 is negative 4, n is equal to negative 1 is positive 3, n is equal to negative 2, x sub n is negative 2, n is equal to negative 3 is 3, n is equal to negative 4 is 6, and n is equal to negative 5 is negative 5. How about if n minus 1? For n minus 1, let's just enter again the value of x. Enter the value of range of n. And then get the n minus 1 of the signal. n is equal to n plus 1 stem n comma x if we will answer this the x of n minus 1 would be negative 5 6 3 negative 2 3 negative 4 the n is equal to 0 would be 6 let's see if the graph and our answer is the same n is equal to 0 is 6 okay Let's move on to flipping operation. Input the value of x again, its range, and then the flipping operation n is equal to 
negative n stem n comma x if you get an error like this make sure the figure one is close stem n x So the value of n is equal to 0 is positive 3. And the n is equal to negative 3 is negative 4. If we are to answer this manually, negative 4, 3, negative 2, 3, 6, and then negative 5 n is equal to 0 is 3. Next is to scale the signal x of 2n. Make sure to close this window. And then input again the value of x and its range in scaling if we are going to find x of 2n in octave it should be n divided by 2 n is equal to n divided by 2 stem n x Let's answer the answer would be negative five, three, three, and and the n is equal to zero is three. Let's look at the figure. n is equal to 0 is 3. n is equal to negative 1 is negative 5. And n is equal to 1 is 3. Okay. And last is x of n divided by 2 or the expansion, time expansion. In octave, it should be multiplication. Input again the value of x and its range. n is equal to n multiplied by 2. It is 10 n comma x. Let's answer equal to negative 5, 0, 6, 0, 3, 0, negative 2, 0, 3, 0, negative 4, negative 4. Based on the figure, our n is equal to 0 is 3. three. Our n is equal to negative 1 is 0 or none. n is equal to negative 2 is positive 6. n is equal to negative um, 3 is 0 or none, and n is equal to negative 4 is negative 5. The same is true with n is equal to positive 2, it's negative 2, positive 4 is 3, and positive 6 is negative 4. Okay.
In Octave, we can customize our figure. We can change the color of the plotted signal and also we can add title for the plotted signal. Let's use the last example, the x of n divided by 2 or the time expansion. Stem n, comma, x. As you can see, the default color is blue and there is no title. If we are going to change the color of the plotted signal, for example, red, just type R. As you can see, there is now a red color on the plotted signal. We can also fill the dot here by inputting field after the color stem and x comma r comma field enter and also we can add the title by using this syntax comma title x of n over 2 enter So this is the output of using the color field and also adding the title in the figure. That is the operation of signal in Octave. Thank you.